salvarlo Hey guys, here I am again, Lewis Creek I came back from the O'Reary River Bad deal going there Don't go to O'Reary River if you are looking for gold By the way, I'm hiking up with all my gear for um, one or two days I don't know, let's see how it goes um, Up there in the Lewis Creek on the side of the road there is a little uh, stream which is used to collect the rainwater. Here there is the drainage. Here there is a little mountain made of uh, the collected rubble from, from the mountain side and it's full of black sand. Here there is a, a stream, there is a clear mark of black sand and this is like 50% black sand and 50% adramantilla. I'd like to pan this but I don't have any water, can you imagine it? Uh, so probably this stuff may be full of gold and nobody will never know. The pipe shoots it out from here and also here there's some black sand. Here, wow that would be really interesting to pan. I guess okay, if someone comes here with some water, not drinking water like mine, uh, you can try to pan it and see how much gold there is in there. Crazy, I'm still here walking up and there is the side road stream collecting water and it has already created its own system. In the, this is the bedrock and some rocks already dug a sinkhole. So it means that when it's raining here there is a really strong current coming down here and these stones in this hole already started to dig a sinkhole and here is full of black sand i think that we have a we have a super rich deposit if there is gold in here so just on the side of the road but there's no water you know what because the creek where there is the water is down there at the bottom of the valley like 200 meters it's too far to go to to get it but uh, it's it's amazing I mean, if there is a nugget in the sinkhole, it's surely not going anywhere. Someone please go to check this sinkhole with some water. Hey guys, I, I'm stuck with the cows. There's a cow just, just in the track looking at me. She was waiting for me, so I ran back inside and there were all the others on the back. Go cows, go! I don't hear any noise. No, they are there. They are there. They are eating over there. I'm going back, back up. See, they are there. There. And before they chased me. This is the track that I should have taken. But the cows were here, so I went down from the I I went down from the bush. And then when I was in the bush, hoping to cut into the track again, I found out that the, the cows had followed me. Oh, these cows are unsafe, are totally unsafe. So now I'm trekking up. Uh, there should be another access to the river. Uh, the farmer will say, no, they don't do you anything. But I'm sure that it's a danger. The wild cow with no fence, feeling a bit uh, wild again they, there was one cow pointing me like she was waiting for me to camp out of, outside of the bush to the, to the path to the path again and I in that moment I, I chilled totally because I said nah, now I'm done they are gonna charge me so guys I made it to the bottom of the valley and look at these mounds of stones these are all the stones that are left over by the old timers, the first miners who came here, um, basically mined all the, the bottom of the valley. And these are all, these are all uh, stones which formed mountains. And there are many of them. Uh, can you imagine I dig one gram of gold in one day? <laughs> How many grams do you think that they dug out of here? It's massive, like hills and hills. Well, well, I set up my camp. This is my hammock here. Tonight I'm gonna sleep uh, 
in this hammock is super comfortable I already used it in New Zealand here a few years ago when I did a fly fishing trip and it's super comfortable it's like being in a cocoon under the rain fly most importantly why did I camp here because I did a pen in the river and right there I found the biggest piece of gold of my life and so I said okay I will camp here let me show you look at here look at that piece it's unbelievable this piece here I made a pan right here under this big boulder and so I immediately camp down there looks like tomorrow is gonna be a good uh, gold hunting day no I dropped it you know the piece of gold that I just show you it fell somewhere here and I, I already lost it maybe tomorrow I will find a bigger piece okay let's stay positive morning guys i woke up super early at sunrise i had a wonderful rest in the sleeping bag and i have already worked around one hour and here is the result there are a few nice pieces i think that for an hour is okay it's looking really nice this creek has a lot of gold i found a huge piece that i will show you after I found a piece that is big like my fingernail. I show it to you later. Hey guys, I just finished my second cleanup for today. As you can see, the gold is getting weaker. So probably it's about time to move. I will go upstream where yesterday I saw a place that was looking promising. Hey, so here I am after a long morning digging in the river. I'm quite happy for the result because I got that big flake. I will show it to, late, to you later. And I think that the gold was decent it wasn't uh, wasn't too bad but then uh, in every place in every place that i started to dig uh, after a while the gold always gets weaker so i don't know why um, i just uh, i will eat my lunch soon and then i will uh, keep moving downstream looking for some other place uh, before it's time to go back to the car Hi guys, I'm stuck under the rain. I'm waiting for the rain to stop a little bit so I can walk back to the car. Um, it's been an amazing adventure. Thank you for staying with me. And um, I really like this uh, New Zealand uh, environment. In front of me, you can see all the stones that have been stacked by the old timers, uh, removed from their bedrock and stuck on the side of the stream. Think about the huge amount of work that they have must put in to put all the stones that were on the bedrock above it so they could reach the bedrock and find a lot of gold. As it stopped raining and I want to show you the cleanup of these two days on the Lewis River uh, Creek actually. It's clean and then I pour in the gold. Okay, that's it. I have never seen in my life <laughs> that much gold. It makes noise when it falls on the on the pan. When I saw it in the Swiss book, I was so happy. It's unbelievable. The biggest piece of gold that I have ever found. And then there is some other nice piece, another ni nice flake. Not sure about uh, the weight, how heavy it is. I will weight it later, but guys, I think that this is amazing. That's a lot of gold. Cool. So, 
Now I can happily head back to the car uh, with the gold and the sun. Uh, it was amazing this trip in New Zealand. I'm happy that I came here. Um, the gold uh, was totally worth it. Even if I would have liked the, you know, the one kilo nugget, but who wouldn't? So um, if you like this video, make a like, a subscribe, uh, because it's very nice for me to give a feedback. Uh, so uh, I hope to uh, see you in the next adventure. Bye bye from New Zealand.